I'm going to be bringing you episode two of the Summer Vacation Sewing Series in collaboration with Creativity by T, Talisha. And we are so excited to bring you episode two. If you missed episode one, links to episode one will be in the information section of this video. Please watch the video on my channel as well as her channel. Talisha is very creative and she will definitely inspire you, okay? <laughs> so please make sure you watch both of our videos. If you hadn't heard about this series already, we are putting together some essential summer vacation looks to inspire you for your summer sewing and for your next summer vacation, okay? This series is for the mature and sophisticated woman. We are bringing you classy yet comfortable stylish outfits that are perfect for any vacation you have this summer, okay? So we'll be bringing you two different looks every single Sunday between now and July 31st. And what that means is that I will be giving you a look and Talisha will be giving you a look. So I encourage you to watch videos on both of our channels so that you can get your two looks. We are hoping to inspire you to make the best summer wardrobe for your next vacation. So. If you wanna be inspired, please keep watching. In today's video, I am bringing you the essential bathing suit cover up. Yes, friends, we're covering it up, okay? We wanna have the perfect bathing suit cover up. We wanna look classy. We wanna put, look put together. We wanna be comfortable, okay? In my opinion, I like a bathing suit cover up that can take me from the room to my final destination being the beach, the pool, whatever, but I want to actually look like I have on an outfit. You know what I'm saying? So if I wanna jump out of the pool and go get a drink at the bar, I can just put my swimsuit cover up and I look put together. I don't look like I have on necessarily a swimsuit cover up, okay? That is my idea of the perfect bathing suit cover up. I also like the idea of having separates, so different pieces that I can mix and match and wear different ways, or, in this case, what I've made can actually be worn not just as a bathing suit cover-up, but as an actual outfit paired with different things. All right, let's get into the pattern. The pattern that I chose for this particular garment or garments is McCall's M7757. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's been around for a while, and I have seen so many versions of this particular outfit. This is not a bathing suit cover-up pattern, okay? I wanna put that out there that you can make your bathing suit cover-up out of any pattern that you want. If you want a dress, honey, make yourself a dress to go over your swimsuit, okay? If you want a skirt, make yourself a skirt to go over your swimsuit. It's all about your fabric choice, okay? The fabric choice that you wanna use for a really good bathing suit cover-up is something that is light and breathable and flowy and cute okay so my version i actually chose to do a very thin sheer fabric that would blow in the wind show a little skin but also keep me nice and covered as i travel from one destination to the other on my vacation okay so i thought it would be perfect to make version d which is this long sleeve top that's cropped with version e the palazzo pants now Friends, I chose this version because I like the flexibility of being able to wear this as a shirt paired with some jeans later. I like the big, huge statement sleeves and I just think it's super cute. So that is why I went with this one versus the ruffled version. But there are quite a few, and I'll insert a picture in the video, there are quite a few views for tops. There are actually three, four, four different tops that you can make with this pattern and one pair of pants. So there's a lot of flexibility and you don't have to worry about wearing something that someone else already has on. But if you're making your own clothes, honey, your stuff is gonna be unique anyway, okay? No one's gonna pick the same pattern and fabric combination, okay? And chances are when you see people out and about, their clothes are ready to wear. So you're gonna be unique no matter what. But I chose to use a gorgeous chiffon fabric this is the fabric I chose. It's completely see-through, okay? But it, since it's got a black background, it gives you a bit of coverage, which I absolutely love. This chiffon was actually sent to me in a thread crate box last year. 
and it was actually sent to make a swimsuit cover-up, but that was a caftan. And right now I'm not really feeling a caftan for my summer vacation. I wanted a whole outfit, okay? It was three yards and I was able to make my top, my pants, and then I had this great rectangle piece of fabric left over, which I serged the edges on to be able to use this as a hair tie or a sarong. So I use every single inch of that fabric. This particular pattern is an easy pattern. If you are a beginner sewist, you can absolutely make this pattern. It's so very easy. The top is three pattern pieces. The bottom is also three pattern pieces. And for the bottom, you have a front leg, a back leg, and pockets, which means that you're just rolling down the tops of the pants to create the casing for your elastic. There's no zippers, there's no buttons, there's no pleats, okay? <laughs> Nothing in this pattern is complicated, okay? If you can sew a straight line, you can make these pants. If you can insert elastic into a casing, you can make this outfit with zero issue, okay? It's actually a really quick sew to make both pieces and I think it's a very enjoyable sew. So if you are reluctant, to sew up your outfits for your next summer vacation, I wanna tell you that this is definitely a quick and easy pattern that you will enjoy making. And I like it so much, I plan to make more. For my version, I made a size medium, which I think was the perfect size for me. However, I did make a modification to the bodice. I am a busty woman and I like to have all my girls covered, okay? <laughs> so I added two inches to the front and the back pieces of the top. Now, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I feel like it, not only did it give me the right amount of coverage over my bust, but it came down long enough to where if I want to wear the top that I made with a black strapless bra underneath and wear it as a top, it's got the right amount of coverage so that when I lift my arms, the band doesn't rise and show the bottom of my bra, which is something that I would have had a problem with if I had not added two inches to the length of the front and the back pieces. That is the only modification that I made to this pattern. I made the pants just like they are, straight out of the packet and instructions, um, and everything else was just the same. I just had to have a little extra length. And to tell you the truth, I would love to make another set like this out of a rayon chalet, something like what I have right now. Like, oh, I bought so much of this fabric. Um, but if I have bought three additional yards, I would absolutely make this set in this fabric, okay? Which is from Ellie Finch Fabric, by the way. I love that shop. Anyway, um, but I would add, instead of two inches, I would probably even add four to six inches to make it a full top so that it stops at the top of my jeans. That would be so cute, friends, and I absolutely plan to do that. But for a swimsuit cover-up, I think adding two inches was just the right amount. Let me show you what my version looks like. I'm going to show you the shirt first. It's so cute, you guys. <laughs> I love it so much. Now, this is the top. And what you will find is that the front piece and the back piece are the same. So it's one pattern piece and you cut two so that one is the front and one is the back. And as you can see, I've added a little label so that I could identify the front from the back. And it just says sewist on it, right? And then these are the gorgeous sleeves with the elasticated wrists, okay? Now, I have it to where it falls off the shoulders. I did use the elastic guide that came with the pattern, but I have very narrow shoulders, and I always find that when I use the pre-measured elastic guide, they just never work out for me. They're always too long, and that happened with this as well. For the top, I didn't have black elastic that was 3 eighths of an inch, so I used white. I don't think it's that noticeable, but I definitely do prefer the look of having black elastic, which is what I did for the pants. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But it was so much elastic that I cannot really keep it over my shoulders if I wanted to wear it that way. But it looks really great hanging low on the shoulders like this. I'll insert pictures. So definitely if you're like me and you have narrow shoulders, 
you're gonna wanna measure your own shoulders and use that to determine how much elastic you cut to put in the casing of this top. And for the bottom elastic, it was not a big deal. I was really just worried about these shoulders, okay? But definitely an easy top to construct, really gorgeous look to this blouse. And can you imagine this with a little black bandeau bra and some high-waisted jeans? Honey, cute, okay, with some big hoops, okay? <laughs> very, very cute. So I love the way this came out and I definitely can see myself wearing it over a dress, with jeans, with a high-waisted skirt, more than just as a swimsuit cover-up. This is a perfect top for summer. Now, the pants, I used soft waistband elastic and I used black and it just looks much better to me. Oh, my pockets are hanging out. Let me stick them back in. I love the way these pants came out so much. The only thing that I wanna say that I probably don't love so much is the fact that because this, this um, fabric is so thin and drapey and sheer, you can see the pockets through the pant leg. It's not a big deal at all. Um, they are the same fabric as the pants, so they just kind of look like a shadow. They don't stand out. Like It's not like the, they're white and they're just standing out. But also, I think I might go in and secure the elastic by tacking it down in different parts in the waistband because with this fabric being so um, slippery, drapey, I find that the elastic twists sometimes. So in some of my pictures, the elastic isn't perfectly straight and it looks like my waistline isn't straight, but it is. It absolutely is, as you can see. It's perfectly straight. It's not sewn crooked or anything like that, but the elastic is soft waistband elastic and it just kind of, the fabric just slides over it. <laughs> so when I'm wearing it, in order to keep that from happening every so often as I'm walking, I just tug on the sides a bit and it just straightens everything out. So that's a hack. If you have elastic that's twisting around in your waistband as you're moving around and stuff and you find that your actual waistband line is not lined up, just tug on the sides of your pants like this real quick. And it straightens out, okay? I love the way these pants came out. And again, if you had on some nude undies or some black undies under here, okay, they could be legit pants. They don't have to just be a swimsuit cover-up. But this is such an easy pattern and I, I'm just happy to have pockets, okay? Because I can definitely see myself slipping a room key in here um, or slipping my inhaler in the pocket, okay? But still being able to wear this as a swimsuit cover-up, I love it. One of the things that's great about chiffon for swimsuit cover-ups is that not only is it drapey and light, but you can get in and out of the water in this if you wanted. So for instance, especially for the top, I can absolutely see this being something that I keep on when I'm in the water, not just you know walking around. So if I have a swimsuit where I wanna change up the look because I've already worn it once or twice on my vacation, I can wear this with the swimsuit underneath and it'll look like it's a part of the swimsuit and I can just swim with it like that and I'll insert pictures of what it looks like without the pants. Or if I want to just wear the pants as a cover up and not all of the pieces, okay, you can do that and I'll insert a picture of what that looks like, just the pants without the top. So I really love the way this came out. I definitely plan to sew it again. I absolutely want to make a set in rayon chalet to wear as an outfit. And like I mentioned before, I'll be adding probably four to six inches to the bodice, front and back pieces, so that it's an actual full, like at least high-waisted type of top um, and not a crop top. But this is such an easy, great pattern and it's the perfect essential swimsuit cover-up for anyone. Can you imagine, like I don't know how many vacations you all have been on, but I've been on vacations where my husband and I have spent the majority of the time in the pool and we get a little bit hungry, okay? And so we have to have that thought process of do we go all the way back up to the room to change our clothes before we go and have some lunch? 
especially if you're staying in like an all-inclusive resort or maybe you're staying at a really nice hotel in Vegas or something like that, you don't want to have to go all the way up to your room to get dressed and get yourself presentable for some lunch. I could absolutely see putting this outfit on top of my swimsuit and I'm already put together, honey. I can go and have my lunch. I can go and have my drink at the bar, okay? And I don't look like I just jumped out of the water. Love this type of outfit as a swimsuit cover-up. I think it's a fantastic addition to my summer vacation wardrobe and I'm so glad that I chose to make it. Now, with that extra piece of fabric, I'll insert pictures of what it looks like with me having this styled in my hair as a headband. You can use it as a head wrap. You can make a big bow if you want to. Um, you can tie it around your waist and cover your bum if you want to. Three yards of fabric was the perfect amount of fabric in order to make all three of these pieces. And I highly recommend this pattern. Definitely, if you have issues with sewing with slippery fabrics, maybe don't do chiffon because chiffon can be a bit tricky um, with regards to how it's slippery. But I didn't have any issues with sewing my version and um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well it cut because that's another issue is that if you don't have a flat surface to cut your projects on, the fabric can slip. You have to cut each individual piece. You cannot have the fabric folded in half and cut two pieces at once because it slips and slides if you don't have a stable flat area for cutting. So that's the only other thing about sewing with chiffon fabric. So other than that though, I love the way my version came out. I'll insert lots of pictures for you so that you can see what it looks like and how it moves and drapes when I walk. Now, I definitely think that this is a pattern that could be great for anyone. And like I mentioned before, if you're someone who is busty or maybe doesn't want to show their midriff, you can absolutely add the inches that you need to cover to your level of comfort. You can even have it to where, and when I make my next version, I'll have it to where it comes down to where the pants meet. And I think that's a really great option. So this pattern, in my opinion, is good for everybody. So I recommend that you get it at that next Joann's $1.99 sale when it happens so that you can make your version of this outfit. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked my swimsuit cover up. If you liked it and you feel inspired, please do give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, head over to Talisha, a Creativity by T's channel. She is going to wow you because she's very creative and I know whatever she made is fabulous, okay? Head over to her channel, check out what she's made for her second episode of the Summer Vacation Sewing Series. Give her a like, subscribe to her channel, and definitely head back to our channels next week so that you can see the third episode and third item that we're adding to our Summer Vacation Sewing Series. And I hope that you just feel inspired. I hope that you really like what we're putting together. And if you did, definitely, definitely refer your friends and forward our videos to friends, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and also a fabulous summer. Bye.